Hey, welcome back to Mirror Mirror and if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube and this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. So for this video, we are going to talk about what to do when you feel left out or you feel like you're being excluded because I did have a DM on my Instagram asking for my advice on this and I gave my advice on my Instagram but I feel like it's something that a lot of us deal with and I have definitely dealt with this so so much throughout my childhood and things so I feel like so many people go through it I may as well film a video on it and hopefully it will help you so what to do when you feel like you're being excluded and being left out. I really feel like when you're young, especially when you're young, because this happens a lot more in school years, teenage years, and then maybe like early 20s in the work scene kind of thing. And I really feel like we have to understand that everybody in life wants to be accepted. Everybody is trying to fit in or trying to find their tribe they're all trying to build connection and feel seen feel feel heard feel loved like everybody wants the same thing essentially so when you have a group of friends or when you even have one person that is bullying or being mean or excluding you or trying to put you down like all of these possible negative mean things that people do to each other you have to remember that they want to be accepted too. So whether they're doing it to try and impress another person that they, they want to be accepted by, or whether they're doing it to look cool and look good, or whether they're doing it to feel better about themselves, like whatever the reason is, the main thing that they want is to also be accepted. And I think when we understand that, we can have compassion and empathy towards them and almost feel a little bit sorry for them the fact that they feel like they have to put other people down in order to feel better and in order to um, make themselves feel like they're above you so first of all when we have that empathy that helps us to no longer want revenge or no longer feel like angry and spiteful towards the person because we realize actually they're just in their own little um fear-based mentality where they feel like they have to put other people down so I think that's like really important to understand and then when it comes to like being left out and those kind of things like there's always a reason behind why they're doing it so it could be like a power play like I just said but it could be a million and one other reasons so I really feel like you have empathy for the people and the fact that they're just trying to fit in as well and then you tune into yourself and how it's making you feel how like alone and uncomfortable and isolated and unworthy it makes you feel because it does trigger a lot of shame and a lot of like negative emotions in yourself and that's not okay for somebody to make you feel like that so I think like you can hold empathy for them and still understand that their behavior is not okay and once you um, pay attention to how it's making you feel and become really aware of how you're feeling then you can decide what you want to do about it and whether you feel like you need to address it with them and have a conversation with them about it and let them know that what they're doing is making you feel x y and z like tell them exactly how it's making you feel but in a nice way like you're not trying to be confrontational you're just trying to be um what's it called like you're literally just trying to express how you feel and that is necessary in every single relationship that we ever ever have including family including romance like we have to be honest and open about our emotions and our feelings and our perception you know that's what relationships are basically we're just exchanging perceptions and thoughts and emotions you know so once you're aware of how you feel and what kind of behaviors they're actually doing that make you feel this way then you can decide whether it's worth having a conversation with them like if you know for a fact that they're not going to change because they don't care then there's no point having a conversation with them just leave them and go go do your own thing like the right people will come to you when it's time leave them be because there's no point wasting your time on people that are just disrespecting you on a daily basis that's not a friend so if you know for a fact that they don't give a shit and that they're deliberately doing it just to hurt you then I wouldn't even bother addressing it and just cut your losses move on get on with your life 
and you'll make new friends when it's time and I can film a video about how to make friends and like how to attract your tribe and all of those kind of things maybe I'll do that next week but um yeah so if they're like doing that and you know that they're never going to change then just leave them but if you feel like they're not aware of what they're doing or maybe they'll be open to hearing you and understanding you then you can have a conversation and just politely and respectfully tell them that this is how it's making me feel and you're not sure why they're doing it but you'd like to just understand why they're doing it and can they explain it to you and let you know if there's a problem that needs to be resolved so that you can um change the dynamic and have them stop behaving that way you know like if you can address it have the polite kind and caring conversation together and see if you can resolve it and if you have that conversation and it doesn't go very well and they're disrespectful then again why waste your time having people in your life that are rude disrespectful make you feel shit all the time about yourself like that's not a friend that's an asshole that needs to fuck off out of your life and go live in their own bubble by themselves you know like that's not somebody that you need to have around you so respectfully have the conversation if you feel like they could possibly be open to it and then go from there depending on what their reaction is then you'll decide whether you keep them in your life and you work through it or whether you go in a different direction and I know that one of the main things with this is that it's very difficult for us to express how we feel to people because for one we're not trained how to do this like as children we're not even taught how to do this with our parents a lot of parents are very emotionally withdrawn and closed off and you can't really express yourself to them because they'll just tell you to have a time out or like they'll just tell you to shut up or something so I know that it can be quite difficult but it's one of the like it's the foundation to relationships we all need to be able to communicate and be able to tell each other how we feel and how each other's actions and behaviors make us feel that's essential and that's not disrespectful that's not rude that's not stepping boundary like that's not crossing boundaries that's a, an essential part of relationships so if anyone makes you feel like you can't express yourself or express your emotions then they're not the right person for you they shouldn't be in your life point blank period doesn't matter whether it's family doesn't matter whether it's a relationship like a romantic relationship or a friend if they do not let you express your emotions respectfully and they do not respect how you feel and they try to dismiss them or belittle them then they are not worthy of your time or your peace or your love okay <laughs> so to just sum it all up I would say figure out exactly how you feel and exactly what actions they're taking that make you feel that way then decide whether you can communicate it to them whether they'll be open to it and if you decide to have the conversation then just respectfully tell them how you feel like it's an essential normal part of relationships and I think maybe I will make another video on how to express your emotions which is something that I battle with on a daily basis so I will definitely share some things that I've learned on how to express your emotions so stay tuned for that video and at the end of the day if people are not going to respect you if they're not going to hear you out then they're just not worthy of your time so set yourself free of those relationships because oftentimes they're willing to climb on you and step on you to make themselves feel better and is that really the types of friends friends that you want to have you know so i feel like when that kind of dynamic happens it's usually because those people are not actually friends so you just really reevaluate how you feel on a regular basis if you're feeling shit around these people constantly then what's the point you know like what kind of friend makes you feel that way so yeah I hope this video helps and stay tuned for the next few weeks because I will be talking about all of these things again and yes I really appreciate you watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box for links to my music my social media my crystal healing jewelry my phone number and everything else about me and I will see you in the next video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough, boy I just want you to myself